I want to report to you on Australia's trade mission to North Asia. More trade is part of the government's plan for a strong and prosperous economy. More trade means more jobs. And when trade barriers fall, prices fall with them. And that is good news for families. This trade mission has been a success and a testimony to what we can do as a nation. In Japan, we successfully concluded negotiations for a free trade agreement. In Korea, we signed a free trade agreement. And in China, I was accompanied by the foreign minister, the trade minister, the small business minister, five state premiers, one chief minister, and 30 of our country's most senior chairmen and CEOs. And we were joined by hundreds of business people participating in the first ever Australia Week in China. With a combined population of 1.5 billion people and a GDP combined of $15 trillion, China, Japan and Korea collectively offer great opportunities for our country and our businesses. In all three countries, I updated leaders about the search for the missing MH370 aircraft because along with other nations, China, Japan and Korea are working with us to solve this terrible mystery. This cooperation is a powerful reminder that the countries of our region can achieve so much more together than apart. So it has been an important week for our country. My hope is that in the years ahead, Australians will see firsthand the benefits of closer, freer trade with Asia through more jobs, more affordable goods and services, and even closer bonds with our North Asian friends and neighbours.